In this video, I'm going to demonstrate the mirroring of 3D bodies. So, sometimes when you're working on a 3D model, you've, I mean, you've passed the sketch environment and everything, now you're working on 3D stuff, uh, sometimes you might want to mirror features on the model, or even mirror entire models. So, let's go ahead and check this out. So I'm just going to create a sketch on this plane here. I'm going to make a cylinder uh, that's going to just stick out of the side of this. Just like this. There. Now, I want one on the other side now. So, I could um, you know, just go over here and make another sketch and you know, make another cylinder. Or I could use the mirror function. That involves using uh, that involves using planes in this case. So in order to mirror this feature from this side to the other, I'm going to go up here where it says construct and click on mid plane. Now it says I want to go mirror this side to this side. I want to make the mid plane between these two sides. So I'm going to go ahead and click one side here the other and the CAD program automatically puts a plane dead center between those two faces that you just clicked on. Now to mirror this feature I'm going to click on create come down to mirror and you have a choice here you got, uh, you know, for object type, you can click down features, which is just I just made here. And features are also down here in the timeline, so you could actually select the feature here. Bodies, which could be this entire thing, you can see how it just highlighted. Could be individual faces you want to mirror. So if I just wanted to mirror the faces here, I'd click on this flat part of the cylinder and this curved part of the cylinder. And components, which that gets into like assemblies and stuff. So the easiest way to do this, since it's just this one feature here that shows up here in the timeline, you, know, you can just click on features, and you can either select it here, or you can select it down here in the timeline. And Mark says, like, okay, one thing selected. Next thing you need to select is a mirror plane. So you just click on select, click on the plane you want to mirror across, and over here, it kind of does a little mock-up of your cylinder. The next thing you might want to mess around with is the compute type, whether it's adjust, identical, or optimized. And these work in different ways to accomplish the same mirroring task. What I find happens sometimes is that this default adjust doesn't work. It'll give you an error down here. Uh, so most of the time, you can select one of these other ones and it and the mirror will work. And if it doesn't work, well then, uh, you've got to do something else. You either have to draw uh, this side here, manually draw the feature you want, or uh, do the or while you're sketching, you project geometry, you project this outline over to this surface over here. So there's a couple ways to do that in case mirroring doesn't work. So let's see if mirroring works. I'm just going to click OK. There we go. Your part's mirrored, just like that. Now, if you want to turn this plane off, all you just do over here is go to construction. You can either just click on the eyeball and turn off all the planes, or you can just select individual planes. I select individual planes in case I have a lot to use. Uh, so, there's that. Now, what I want to do is mirror this body and demonstrate something else. So, I'm going to create a new sketch. Create it right there. And I'm going to draw a line to mirror across. Just like that. And you know, usually with just these lines I mark them special, like a construction line or something. So there. Now I want to mirror this whole body. So what I'll do here is I'll click on mirror, select bodies. Use that. Mirror plane. Uh-oh. There isn't a mirror plane there. I guess that line isn't going to work. Well, now you know. I was actually kind of testing it myself because I wasn't sure. I'm just going to leave that line there, so I'm going to cancel. Uh, you can actually use this surface as a mirror plane. 
I think. So let's try that again. Uh, mirror the body. Select the body. Select the mirror plane, which can be this surface. <gasps> hey, look! It mirrors right there. And because they're adjacent, it's actually going to give you a choice. You can either join it or make a new body. I want to make a new body, so I'll click OK. I'm going to delete this sketch because it ultimately proved useless. So there, made that go away. And I'm going to move this body over this way a little bit. Click OK. And in this case, if you have a couple symmetrical bodies and you want to mirror stuff, you can actually create a midplane right here between these two. Same thing. Go up to construct, click on midplane, click it between these two surfaces, and bam! Midplane right there. So it doesn't have to be within the model, it just needs to be between two faces. And the, the CAD will put a plane dead center between those two faces. Click OK. Now I'm just curious, if I move this body, will this mirror with this midplane move? The answer is no. Midplane's just stuck right there. So keep that in mind. Midplane's not always going to be midplane if you end up moving these bodies. It will not automatically adjust. So, okay, here we go. We have two separate bodies that are mirrored across this thing. Now, let's say I want to add another peg to this thing here. So I'm just going to go ahead and create a sketch. Make another 50 millimeter circle. And make that into a 50 millimeter cylinder. Okay. Now notice that despite this being mirrored across from over here, the cylinder did not over appear over here. So, if you want this feature to appear over there, what you need to do is go to mirror again. So I'm going to go down and click to mirror. Um, let's try faces this time. I'll select that face and that face. And then I'll do the mirror plane thing. And it appears over there. Click OK. Uh-oh. Now we have a problem here. Mirror 3 error. Compute failed. Uh, OK. Well, that's an issue. Let's try it again. Like I, like I mentioned before, uh, sometimes uh, you know, stuff might not work right. Yeah. So with faces, it was giving me issues. So what if I did features? So let's try that. Select my feature, compute type, adjust, there we go. Okay, that works. So another thing, if you try to mirror faces from one body to another, it may not work. You'll get an error. So try to do it by features if that's available. Yeah, that's what I had encountered here. Now, when I did that, here's the thing. That's one body here. When I click on body two, oops you'll see that cylinder is not actually part of it. It's actually this body 3. So that can be a problem because when I move around body 2, body 3 is just going to stay there. You know, your, peg, your new peg is not going to move despite being mirrored. It looks like it's attached, but it really isn't. So what you need to do now, if you want this peg to move your body like you wanted it to, you've got to go up here, click on combine. Uh, your target body is going to be this one right here. You know, your main body that you want to attach to. And your tool body is going to be this peg right here. So click on that right there. And the operation you want is to join. And you don't want to make it a new component. You might want to if you're doing stuff with assemblies, but I'm not messing with that right now. I just want one body. And keep tools. What, that, what happens if you click on that is that it will preserve body 3 while you know everything else is combined. I, I'll, I'll show you. If I keep tools here, I'll click OK. You still have this body 3, but body 2 is going to have the peg on it. So in that case, I'm going to try and edit this feature. Uncheck, click, to, keep tools, click OK, and there. That body, that body 3 disappears, and it's now combined with body 2. So it's all attached, just like that. So there you go. That's, that's, that's some basic mirroring with uh, bodies. I mean, it'll even work with holes, too. 
So I'll try, I'll demonstrate just one more thing. Let's make a hole in the top of this. And I'll do a negative extrusion, just like that. And now I want to, whoops, mirror. I want to mirror this feature across this plane. Do the adjust compute type. Okay, now gave me an error. Now this this thing. So let's try another kind of mirror. So I want to select this feature again. I'll select the mirror plane. Let's try identical. Nope, that didn't work either. Let's try one more. And I hope this works. To optimized. See what happens. That did not work. So, <coughs> I don't quite understand why that won't work. Um, I mean, I, I'm not sure. Usually it's one of those three that can do it. It just makes me want to, you know, try and see if I can do faces. Nope, that won't do it either. So, it's looking to be, that in this case, you're better off just deleting this body and just, you know, making another one of these again, or just manually creating a circle. Uh, to, you know, manually creating the hole over here to be just like this one. So, yeah, sometimes that happens. And I, I don't have a straight understanding, I don't have a clear understanding as to why that happens. But um, it does. And sometimes it's sad. I feel like this is a sad ending right now. Well, you know what? Undo, undo, undo. Happy ending. There you go. So there's some mirroring. Uh, some issues that you might encounter with that when you're dealing with 3D models. Uh, but at the same time, you know, it, it's it's pretty powerful if you've got like identical parts uh, or parts that you're working to make identical. Uh, you know, on the sides or different bodies, that sort of thing. Uh, it's it's a really useful tool. Thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, please be sure to click the like and subscribe buttons below. Also, post any questions you have in the comments and I may answer them in another video. And remember, anyone who stops learning is old, whether at 20 or 80. Anyone who keeps learning stays young. So keep learning, keep designing, keep making, and be proud of your work.